Today we're at the Loray Cemetery in Madison County. And I'll just walk around and show you some of the highlights. Loray Cemetery is named after a gentleman and there is a town named Loray probably best known for its mispronunciation. A lot of people call it Lorraine, but it's a French word. So the largest ma um, marker is the wife of J.B. Loray. He was the first one to come out here. Actually, Loray was settled even before Virginia City. So Mr. Loray came down from Canada and he had worked in his father's saddle making shop. So he learned quite a bit about the trade and about business. So it's actually quite an interesting story and I'll do a video on the town of Loray and I can talk more about him. But he then ended up coming to this area and he got here right about the time of the big gold rush and he actually became a well-known merchant, trapper, landowner. He built uh, the bridges so he was in charge of the crossings and he uh, was really quite good at what he did and his family was Catholic. He came from a large family down from Canada and a lot of the other French Canadians followed him. I'm pointing there to where the town of Loray is and if you go back on the other side of those mountains it heads over to Bannock. So it was a main trail from Virginia City over to Bannock. This cemetery also has a lot of the people who have uh, are well-established names here in this area. So I'm just panning around. Those are the Tobacco Root Mountains. Sheridan is up over there. On the other side is Pony. We're just getting a uh, a little bit of snow now. It's toward the end of September, September 24th actually. Pretty nice day today. You can see the light dusting of snow that came in a couple days ago. So here's just a quick drive around the cemetery. It sits on top of the hill. It's really not too far from Loray, maybe as a crow flies about three miles. Up straight ahead there is Virginia City, about 20 miles. So that large headstone is his second wife, actually, his first wife was a Shoshone Indian.
I'm going back to this headstone. I thought it was interesting because he put a memorial, or the family did afterwards, of his son who had died in a Japanese camp back in 1943. So that's what that note is on the bottom, memorializing his son. Well, I don't know why I always find it interesting to go to cemeteries. Just kind of makes me think about life and death and afterlife. I think this is just a beautiful setting for a cemetery. And it was a beautiful day, so I thought I would come here and just show you. A lot of the names here are old names, families that you still hear about in this area. Well, thanks for watching. Travels with Lucky. I'll put this in the section with other cemeteries that I've filmed. I'll continue to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like more of these, 
subscribe to Travels with Lucky. Thanks for watching. We'll have more adventures here in Montana.